everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have lots of empties. I need to get uh, to throw these out because we are leaving back to Florida in about two weeks. I'll give you a little mini review on each of the, the products. I'll let you know if I'm going to repurchase or if it's going or if I'm not purchasing again and why. All right, let's get started. The first one is the Milani, the makeup remover. I talked about this in one of my products, uh, my drugstore products worth checking out. I really like this. Yes, I will be repurchasing it. It, it removes all of my makeup, all of it. One time and everything is gone. I always go in with the second cleanse, but this Milani does a great job. I really liked it. This is Gingham. It is by Bath and Body Works. This is a body wash. I really like this. It's really moisturizing. It did a, I love the scent on it. If you don't like scents, you may not like this. If they still have this scent available, I'm going to repurchase it because I really like this one. I felt it just left my skin so incredibly smooth. I really, I liked it. Did I tell you that I liked it enough times? Briojo. This is the repair conditioner. Yes, ladies, even though I wear wigs all the time, I still try to take care of my hair. I finished this by Briojo. I still have a great big bottle of the Redken. I'm not going to repurchase this for now. Later on, if I need to, I will. I highly, highly recommend. It does an amazing job. This and Olaplex are my top favorite shampoo and conditioners. For now, I'm not going to repurchase, but if you are looking for a good conditioner, this is a really good one to give it a try. I know you are all probably sick of me talking about Ali Nutrition, but I really like it. So I'm gonna continue talking about it. I've got two of the extra strength probiotic. I, I haven't been able to get the extra strength. I have the regular one, but I love these. It just does a good job with my digestive health and you got to love it. Right along the, along with the Ollie probiotics, I also went through two of the skin, the glowing skin. I like these. I think it does a really good job. I did, they just launched some that are in a gel form instead of gummies. And I'm really trying to do good with cutting back on sugar and all of this. This doesn't have an awful lot, but it does have some. It has four grams of carbs, not sugar. Therefore, I, and I'm trying to cut back. But if I could only get these instead of the gels, I'll continue getting them because it actually, it isn't all that much. So yeah, two of these. The last Ollie that I went through is the multivitamin. I purchased my second one. I have it in the in the bathroom. I like this. It has all the vitamins and they're easy to take. I don't forget and it, it's not and I feel like I'm having a piece of candy. What can I tell you? I think it was in my last empties. I told you that I had finished the YSL. No, I opened it up. I got a little bit more out, so now I really finished it. I've ordered another one. I love the YSL foundation. It does have the nature alcohol. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but for my, if I really want a glam look, I want something that looks really good, that lasts, that doesn't cake, that just gives me a flawless look as much as I could have at 63, Love the YSL. So now I'm really dumping this. I have talked about this so much. My discoloration serum from Good Molecules. I have actually purchased two backups because I didn't want to be without it. I think this has really helped my skin as far as the discoloration. It hasn't done. It, it's not a miracle. You know, it's not a miracle worker such as the Obagi but it does an amazing job at, at evening out the skin tone. I highly rec recommend it. It has a great price point. It's available at Beautylish. I finished this by Open Formula. This is the vitamin C. I think it's okay. This was sent to me. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I just didn't see and as much brightening as I get with, let's say, the Timeless. Uh, like I said, they sent it to me. It was nice. It's a good price point. I won't repurchase it. 
I finished my SC Lauder double wear. I, I wear mine in spice sand. I miss it. I need another one. I haven't ordered it because I've got so many foundations. This is a cult favorite. We love it. Well, some of us love it. Some of us hate it. I'm one of the ones that love it. And yes, I will be repurchasing another one as soon as I get through some of the foundations that I have right now. My Caudalie Grape Water, something else that I talk about so much. I have my backup. This is so moisturizing and it's an incredible product to have if you have hard water, if you have a well like we do here in Kansas. It does an amazing job. There are a lot. You don't have, this one's, I think this one that is six and a half or 6.7 ounces is about $18 if I'm not mistaken at Sephora. But you could also get the one is available. Oh, Rochelle and Pose. That's what it is. Ro Rochelle and Pose. That one is a little less expensive, if I'm not mistaken. And it's available on Amazon. Finished my setting spray from J. Bella. I have been using this. Oh, sorry. Bella Jade, not Bay Jella. Jade Bella. Bella Jade setting spray. I've been using this for years. I love it. It has all good ingredients. It doesn't have a long-term expiration date. So if uh, a setting spray is not something that you use all the time, you may not want to get this one because you don't want it to go bad. But it has a good price point and it and it does extend the life of your makeup. Plus it has good ingredients for our mature skin. I don't know how many of you are going to be interested in this, but I'm going to tell you anyway because I finished it. This is my John Renault Easy Spray. This is the, the conditioning spray that I use on my wigs to keep the ends looking nice. So when I take my wigs off, I will apply some of the conditioning spray from John Renault. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find this again. I love this one. This is my favorite one, and I can't find it. If I find it, I will leave it linked down below in case you are a wig wearer. This one, they're still a little bit in. This did not wow me at all. This is from Glow Recipe. I thought this was a little expensive. Had a great scent of watermelon, but I've had it for too long. It's looking cloudy. I don't like the way it looks. I'm not going to put this on my face. No, I won't be repurchasing it. My Dior Primer. I love this lash primer. I just purchased another one. I don't know if this is going, this video is going up before the get ready with me, but you'll, whenever it goes up, you'll see me using it. I love this. This is my favorite, favorite lash primer, the one by Dior. Yes, I know it's pricey, but I like it. I went through the, I also finished the one by Lancome, also the lash primer. I like this as well. If I can't get my hands on a Dior, then this is the one that I buy. They're the ones that work the best for me. I know many of you use the ones, the one from Essence and it works incredible for you. Many of my friends here from YouTube use it and they swear by it. Unfortunately on me, it just clumps and it makes a total mess and I can't use it. If you can use the Essence, then stick with it because these two are a little pricier. NYX Control Freak. I finished two of these and the second one, I don't know if they've changed the formula. I didn't think it was doing such a great job. So I purchased the Anastasia Brow Gel, which I loved for years. And this one had been working fine. I have no idea. It's almost as if I was not applying anything. And granted, it has never made my, my brows crunchy. Not at all. But it still gave me some hold. And I don't know why. It wasn't, I oh know I'm not going to get it again. I have a full one of the Anastasia from Be Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Timeless Eye Cream. This eye cream works very nicely. It, I don't have any problem with it. However, I had, I'm, I'm putting through the test two other ones and I'm, I'm thinking I like them better. I would just use this in between when I was running out but it's really not one of my favorites. I know it's another one that many of you love, but I I don't know. It just I didn't I didn't think it did that much for me. This I think did so much. I've got Monica from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle to thank for this. This is the blank eyelash. Oh my gosh, I love this. 
absolutely love this. I would always use the Grand Cosmetics one, and I thought that one worked really well. And when Monica sent me this one, I thought, wow, I really like this. I have a backup of this one, and when I start getting halfway through the backup, I'll repurchase again. Love this. If you want a lash serum where it doesn't make you lose your lashes, it it it, it aids in the in lengthening your lashes. I think this one does a really good job, and I and I thought it had a good price point in comparison to many of the other ones out there. Okay, this is the uh, Flora and Bass CBD serum. I just have a, like a drop in there that I'll finish up tonight. I love this. I have purchased this over and over again so many times. I think it does wonders for my skin. One of the things that I love it for the most is that it eliminates any peeling and flaking from the Retina A. This is awesome. It sinks into my skin. It doesn't feel all greasy. It it's just I think it's just a great product all around because of the nutrients that it has and it helps my skin stay nice as nice as it could stay at my age the other one i finished is the relief potion also from uh flora and bass i take this i take either a couple of drops if i have a headache for example or if i have a pain somewhere i'll put a little bit in my hand and rub it against let's say my knees or my uh, my elbows or any joint pain and it really helps the other thing is this has a thousand, I think it's a thousand milligrams. I think it's a thousand milligrams of CBD. If, when I run out, I have a full one of these. When I run out of my other CBD, I'll apply this to my face as well. Dolce Gabbana, my light blue. I love this. I have been buying this perfume for years and years and years. I love it. It's one that I never want to be without. This is the one that I use for my everyday. When I was teaching, this is the perfume that I wore every day because it wasn't overpowering. It didn't bother the students. It didn't bother other teachers. I just thought, it. The, I, I love this fragrance. It's clean. It's fresh. It's citrusy. And I love citrusy scents. My favorite. Love this. Yes, I will be repurchasing it. And last but not least is my Grand Cosmetics Lips love this. I use also the one for the brows, the one for the lips. I love. I have another one on order. Love this. It plumps. I use it at night and it, I don't know, I think it just keeps my lips nice and plump. So I'm going to continue purchasing it. Oh no, I'm not finished. I did. I went through, I thought I was finished. Um, this is the Roller Lash from Benefit. I really like this mascara, but I have a ton of mascaras there. I'm not going to repurchase it for now. If I need, when I run out, I would repurchase it. I think it leaves my lashes really pretty, but you know, it's it's not my favorite, but it's it's not my least favorite either. And I finished this. This is from Makeup Forever, the Artist, Artist Nude Cream. This is a lipstick like a, not like, it's a drop, it's a liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh, this was so pretty. I love it. I need to order another one. Really, really pretty. And it didn't make my, my lips look like dried up prunes. That's what I have in my empties. Hopefully this video won't be so incredibly long. Let me know if there are any of these products that you've tried and you really like or something that I've finished and you absolutely hate. Let me know. I mean, let's get a conversation going. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.